Good morning, knitters. Welcome to PJ Knits. My name is Penny and I live in central Illinois and I am a knitter, a blogger, and a YouTube podcaster. And today is Monday, December 20th. We're on the downhill slide to Christmas here, aren't we? Welcome to my channel. Um, it's been a bit and I'm going to tell you what's going on here at Shea PJ Knits a little bit later, but let's get right into the knitting. Um, I've got some things to show you um, while I have a short amount of time. We are at what I'm calling the yarn room. I'm standing up because I could get it all out on my bed. And so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I've been knitting. Let's start off with first um, Christmas gifts that I finished. Um, this is a different Christmas for us here at Shea PJ Knits because we are staying home this year. Um, I'll talk about that um, at the end. But anyway, so I'm not doing a whole lot of knitting uh, for presents this year. I'm doing some Advents. But I wanted to share with the four hats that I knit up for my grandchildren. And I uh, use the pattern Simple as Hat by Miha Yumanen. Yumanen. I have knit this particular pattern several times before. This is a great pattern. And you know what I love about this one is it goes from babies to adults. So perfectly a, a good pattern to knit from. So what I did is I decided to knit all four for my grandchildren. I knit a couple of ponchos in the same yarn, but I decided for the granddaughters that maybe that was more of a spring type thing and I didn't have anything to knit for the boys to match. So I just went with hats with everyone. So here is the first one that I knit for our oldest granddaughter and put a yellow palm on it because that's her favorite. And then next up for her sister, I did another one with a multicolored palm that I had. And then for their brother, um, I wasn't going to put a palm on this, but my husband said, well, he, I think he needs a palm. So I had a small little one that I got from Grocery Girls and put on it. And then finally for our youngest grandson, I knit him one as well. And this is all out of jelly beans. It's a Plymouth yarn out of my stash. And now I only have one skein left of everything that I had. So I'm pretty pleased that I've been knitting out of stash for Christmas this year. Um, with only one remaining. <laughs> so that is jelly beans. And I don't think that it's made anymore, which is which is too bad. So anyway, I wanted to share what I have been knitting on a lot since the 1st of December is my advent calendars. I belong to a group called Lupin About that um, this group we met in Rochester at ZK many years ago. And this year we decided to do a mini skein uh, fingering weight swap. And what I have been doing with mine is each day since the first, I have putting I have been putting a square in my blanket of my um, cozy memory blanket, and the pattern that I've been using um, is the one from Georgie Nicholson. It's a free one. It's on Ravelry, and so now I have what I am doing here. So here is my blanket. I cannot show the whole thing, but what I'm doing. What I was originally doing for 2021 is every Sunday I was putting in a square. So, and I'm doing it widthwise um, for 2021. And then in 2022, I'm going to go back and do lengthwise. So here is my blanket as it stands. And this is tomorrow's that I always cast on the next day. I always cast on the next one. So here is the width of my blanket. And that's the length that I've gotten so far on it. And what I did is I bought these markers originally, and I've talked about these before, that has the month. So when I finish a month, I put a, a marker on it, and they're all the month markers. And then I received this one from my friend Annette. This is funny because, stop, stop. Every Sunday is Scrappy Sunday. So... I, that is my first advent, and I usually accomplish putting those in. Like I said, I was doing widthwise, so I've been doing widthwise here since the first. Adding those in as we go. So that is my first advent blanket, the advent calendar that I was doing this year. Next up, 
I did the Chelsea Lux yarn one from Chelsea Yarns. And what I have been doing, and I did not, and I have not been doing this every day. I have been opening um, her little baggie each day, but I was a, a week or so behind because I had to order um, some mohair. And what I'm doing for the Chelsea Lux one is I am knitting on the Dust of Snow wrap by Curious Handmade. And so I don't have what I would say every day in here. But here is what it looks like so far. And it, after the pinks, it goes into some blues. So I'm looking forward to that. And I ordered the mohair, which is just a creamy mohair, from the knitting place. And this is a Sandus yarn, Sandus garn uh, mohair. So, um, and here's the little bags that it came from Chelsea Lux for 25 days of Advent. So that is kind of my second one. I've been having a lot of fun with that. And then thirdly, I got the Advent from Legacy Fiber Arts, and I have not, unfortunately, been keeping up as much with this particular one um, as I was. I was doing one every day, but um, I kind of curtailed on this. I, I What I did is I hit a pattern most of the patterns on this, and it's a stocking pattern that we got with it, okay? And I hit one where it was not a super quick one, and so I stalled out on it, which is this one here, which required a little bit more concentration, and I haven't had the concentration in me. So this is a stocking designed by, um, let's see, Natalie Sheldon. She's also Remembrance's Pottery. So she designed this. I am loving that, and I want to get back to it. But this one is a fairly large repeat, a large patterning, and again, required a lot of um, mind <laughs> thinking about. And so I, um, I kind of stalled on that. But I want to get back to it. It's not that I don't like it. It's just that I need to get past this particular pattern and get close to putting the heels in. And so I'm hoping to do that get moving on that this week. It will not be done for Christmas, but it's going to be it's going to be for in the yarn room at some point in time. So that is, and I believe on Ravelry, that particular pattern, um, originally it was um, Snow Day Stocking, but I believe they have changed the pattern name to be Not So Naughty Stocking. So um, you can find that on Ravelry. I think in January or February is what I heard. Um, you can't get it right now because it was part of the advent. And I've got it in my little Christmas bag from Molly Klein that I bought several years ago as well. So, And those are the advents that I am doing so far. So you can see that's kind of where my knitting uh, mojo has been for the month of December. Okay. I had a birthday while we were gone. <laughs> Um, it was a low-key birthday, but I have to tell you, I have some great friends, and they sent presents home for me. And every night, um, for several nights, when I was feeling a little off, a little low, um, <laughs> I would open a bag. It was so much fun to have um, to have those presents. And I'm going to show you here um, just the yarny things. I got a couple of mugs. This particular one from Brenda is housing my coffee in there today and then I got a couple of other mugs from my friend Debbie and they will make their um, debut on later podcasts but anyway um, I received um, some Snoopy things from my friend Becky she kept me in in that um, I received um, some really cool things from and Debbie also, this is what my, this is how my birthday bag came in the little Snoopy thing from Debbie. Um, oh, I have to show you this in a sec, okay. Um, I received from, um, besides the mug from Brenda, I received this really cool uh, creative sock set. It's Arctic Grape. This came from Brenda. Is that not super, super cool? I have, Look at that in two different colorways. So very much me. I received that. And then from Debbie, I received 
in my gift baggie, I received the Stitch Together yarn, which is uh, their Stitch Smooth Sock, and the colorway is the Fiber Universe, which is our local shop, and isn't that super cool? And I got some other really cool things that I want to show you <laughs> from, as well, digging in my bag here. From Debbie, I also received this little leather pouchette, and it's housing my... Um, my cool little stitch markers in it right now and it's going in that goes into my neat little knitting bag so I always have that and the other thing I received from Kendra was a super cool bracelet that has stitch markers that has peanuts related they are being used on my um, stocking that I've got that's super cool so are those, and, and I got a Snoopy book from Kendra as well. So that's so, so super cool. So you can see I had a really, really fun birthday. And it was so much um, fun each night to just open up a new present and, um, and think about the person it came from. So I, you know, I, I love, I love knitting related gifts and I love giving them as well. So. Um, I have just a couple of sweaters that I want to show with you, show to you today and talk to you about in keeping with our hashtag, hashtag that is still going on for till the end of the year, which is hashtag top this 2021, which is all about knitting some sweaters. And um, just because of life right now, not a whole lot of new sweaters have been um, cast it on and also because I've been playing around with these advents so much but I wanted to share some from my wardrobe um, to give you just some favorites from my wardrobe first one up I'm going to talk about this is called tea leaves and um, I I do like indie dyers and I, and I like the three that I'm going to show you today are dyers that I have met that are live in this area or I have become friends with and I'm going to just share these uh, particular dyers with you. And I have the four. But I think at this time of the year, why not tell you about my favorites? First one is tea leaves. This one I knit several years ago. And this is by Lisa, Melissa Labarre. The yarn is Leading Men Fiber Arts. It is their callback in seaweed. And I believe the callback um, base is really a finger weight, light DK. And all of my mods, if I made some, are on Ravelry. And of course, I've done the sleeve as I've done before. One of the mods that I learned from um, Iraq Knits, Corey, is because of these, um, because for the most part on cardigans, I don't, I don't want them hanging open. I don't want them flapping open. I want them to be closed. And so she suggested sewing the buttons all the way down. So basically this one just goes over my head and I never unbutton it because the buttons are so down. But this is a really cool pattern just to play around with. Has a little bit of texture at the top. Just a fun knit. And I love this callback yarn and I've talked about it before. It is soft, it is squishy, it is not um, hot or itchy and it's just a really, a real favorite of mine from Leading Men Fiber Arts. And because I liked it so much, I've talked about this one. I've shown it before. This is called Ground Pepper. This has to be my most favorite sweater of all times that I have knit. I like the fit. I like the mods that I made. And again, this pattern is from Leading Men Fiber Arts. It was a kit that I bought at ZK a couple of years ago. Um, the kit colorway is Teal Speckles Kit, and I don't know if they're still doing these, um, but it is also the Leading Men Fiber Arts callback base, and I just love this one. And I started with the lighter speckles and then worked out to the bottom with the darker ones. I love the way it fits. It's a V-neck, and I didn't, you know, I didn't know how much I would like a V-neck until I knit this particular one. Um, again, made some mods to the sleeves, but made it to fit me. And there you go. I love, love, love this one. 
I love it so much that I'm knitting a second one out of some other yarn, and I'll show you that in a minute. And lastly, the one that I'm going to show you, this is called The Weekender by Andrea Mowry that I knit last year during the pandemic. Um, this is out of 4th of July, Briar Rose. I've talked about Chris Ruzian's yarn before. I am a fan. I know Chris. She's the sweetest person ever. And um, again, I made a few mods on Ravelry, and I made the mods based on other people's patterns, um, garments that they knit. That Some of them said the neck was too wide, so they did a, a little bit different. And so I just followed some of the mods. I always like to look when I pick out a pattern on Ravelry or a new sweater to knit, I like to look at a couple of things. The bodies that are wearing them. And that's why I love it when people show, actually take pictures of themselves in their garments. So I can get a, a feel for, hey, that is kind of sort of my body type. And yes, that is something that I would like to wear. Or I would like to knit or no, I don't like these things about it. And I may want to change. So this, I, I went on to several um, pages. Um, and um, saw one and, and, and a couple and looked at their mods and thought, okay, that addresses the wideness of the neck and um, things that I want to do. So this is the Weekender. It gets a lot of wear like in the wintertime with a green, avocado green turtleneck that I've got. And again, I just love this one. This is a, another one um, that gets a lot of wear. It has a split hem with a little bit longer uh, back rib, which I also enjoy to wearing as well. So um, that's The Weekender by Andrea Mowry. So I just wanted to share a few of my favorite sweaters. Uh, again, a few of my favorite dyers from my sweater wardrobe. I hope you're knitting some sweaters. And I'm hoping that in um, with Christmas being um, the end of this week, that maybe for the new year you're going to start knitting some more sweaters and we can continue um, knitting sweaters before the season. So, all right, all righty righty. I want to talk about a gift that I received in the mail from a friend, my friend Annetta. Um, this one is some yarn and a little care package that she sent out to me that came at just the right time. And so Annetta, thank you <laughs> so very much. Um, I have not been yarn shopping because of, of it, things going on, but there was some tea and some just really a nice card and some nice, um, it just made my day. Let's just put it that way. And one of the yarns she sent me is enough for a sweater. And so I have to start thinking about what this is going to be because this would be fun. This is a Loops Luxe Chunky. It's alpaca and silk. And alpaca is one of my favorite, favorite fibers to knit with. And so I have enough for a sweater out of this, and I can't wait to start thinking and figuring out what it's going to be. So thank you so very, very much. I can't say enough about knitting friends. Um, I've been very lucky um, recently. Uh, <clears throat> shout out to my knitwit friends who have kept me in food, <laughs> kept me in phone calls, um, I can't say enough about knitting friends. <laughs> and I wasn't going to do that. So uh, anyway, just to give you um, <clears throat> some information, <laughs> segue into what's going on. Um, today is the first day of um, the tall guys chemo. And it's supposed to be radiation as well. But that didn't happen. Um, we're in for a long haul. Um, he had surgery in November. And now we're just starting chemo um, and radiation. Last couple of weeks, we had some really good weeks because we were at home and we didn't have to go anywhere. And it was kind of like normal. But I know that... I know that it's a long, rough road to come. I don't know what I do without my friends <laughs> and family. So I just want to give you the heads up of what's going on. And that's why maybe I'm not as active knitting on some things. Um, there's so much to deal with, but we are hopeful 
that this will nip it in the bud and um, you know come summertime we'll have a different um, outlook on life but for right now um, we are thankful and we are grateful so that's what's going on back to knitting to finish up this weekend is Christmas and like I said it's gonna be a little bit different here at PJ Knits because we are not really um, socializing we cannot see our grandkids because of chemo um, and everything else that's still going out in the world so um, it's a little different but we're gonna motor through last week I spent some time with some friends my knit with friends my knitting Tuesday friends and we exchanged Christmas presents and I want to show you some of the yarny presents that I received there um, first up is this not the cutest thing this llama <laughs> it's going to sit on my on my couch over there and every time I walk by it it just reminds me of fun <laughs> so um, it reminds me of the Sesame Street days when my kids were younger. It, there was a song that was called Me and My Llama. Me and My Llama. And so, Me and My Llama. I, got, I received that from our friend Kathy. Along with um, some more sock yarn, Knitted Wit. This is in Watery Tart. We're going to do some socks in the new year. Can't wait for that. And, oh, excuse me received from my friend Brenda I love again alpaca this is Paca Peds the alpaca yarn company and I think this is going to be a different kind of sock for me I've looked at a couple and I think this is going to be um, a pair of socks as well or something to keep my feet warm this winter in my boots so I have a couple of socks to get going on and also received the latest interpretations and look at this look at this sweater guys by Hohe I think I have to have that I think that's the perfect comfort knitting and I think it's perfect for Illinois winters that are to come and and because we're going to be going out daily for radiation and weekly for um, chemo I think this is a perfect one that needs to be in my wardrobe this has some really cool patterns in it as well um, and this is their latest. Look at this vest. I even like that. I don't, I shouldn't say I even like that. I like that as well. And I love the stories that are in here. They do a word each time. And I really enjoy that. And there was some, one particular one was called Patience. And this one I liked. <coughs> Patience keeps me going when all I want to do is give up. Patience is in the stitches that repeat one after the other. They stay the same, yet they are always different. <laughs> Patience. That was a perfect, uh, perfect little piece that I read last week that I really, really needed at the time. So I'm so, that's so cool. And then also friend, friend Debbie, amongst other things that I received that you all will be seeing down the road in my bag. In the words bag is that not the coolest I also received tippy MCN sock this is in envision and this one is sparkle sock and this is island days oh, I love it oh. all right sorry so those are the things that I wanted to just show you today um, I wanted to um, check in with you all um, <laughs> um, and let you know what's going on here at PJ Knits and say thank you to my my knitting friends um, I love you next podcast I don't know when that will be it will probably be on a chemo day much like this from the yarn room um, and I'm going to talk about um, we'll recap 2021 uh, knit hashtags what's been going on there 
uh, give you an update on my advents and show you um, where I finished. And we're going to talk about knitting goals for 2021. Uh, at least I'm going to tell you what mine are. Um, I don't know if you're, you know, you all can tell me about yours as well. Um, so that is um, what is to come. And um, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thanks for tuning in in 2021. <laughs> Um, come back in 2022, will you? Um, we'll see you then. Until then, stay healthy, stay well, knit on with confidence and hope. Thanks. <laughs>